Hello and welcome to the transcription explanation of this design. To fit all of these words into a seven centimeter circular space, I really did need to stick with a minimal uh, sort of style where I have some of the letters done as simply as possible, which is uh, reminiscent of this unraveled style here. So this whole section says, uh, um, one may tolerate a world of demons here, and I have emphasis on the word demons, and I also have it in the negative to make it contrast nicely with the word angels over here, and then I wanted the second part of the sentence to be kind of bigger, more prominent, uh, for the sake of an angel in that normal classic circular style. Uh, I couldn't do the swirly style you mentioned liking, because to do that I would need about twice as much space and half as many words, because that one kind of expands upon a single word and makes the words a bit fancier and bigger. So anyway, uh, this was uh, a design I'm really happy with that both fits the meaning of the phrase and the space you wanted it tattooed, and also will make all of the words legible in the final tattoo. So let's get to reading it. So here's the regular English, right? And then here is the one-to-one -one transcription, um, turning the English into basically the unraveled font version of the script. So here we have the O, and then this is actually an N and an E together. Vowels are these little guys, and vowels can either be by themselves or attached to consonants. So there's the N by itself, and here's the E by itself. And we can see these letters on this chart here, which is the key to the cipher. Vowels are down here, and an O is inside our word circle. So there's our O in the key, here's our O in the linear version, there's the O in the uh, English version, and here is the O in the circles version. So this start marker here is a uh, dot with a ring around it, which is this shape here, and it is here to show you that this is the bottom of our circle, and you start reading here, and you read this section first, and then you go to this section, because again, here's our O, and then we go this way, because it's pointed this way, and then our next letter is the M, with one line on it, and then the E. And then we have May, and M has three lines, and it's a circle inside the word circle, with three lines, so just like the N, but instead of one line, it has one, two, three lines, so these little guys are important, make sure they get in there, and then an A, and then one, two dots on the Y, so one may, and then we have this long word here, this is a shallow divot for the T, I, uh, I have in here the vowels mostly attached to save space, but here I have the vowel separated because vowels attached like this would bleed together and look muddy in the final tattoo, so I do not do them super close quarters and attached like that when I'm trying to save space and make something tattoo compatible. So here's the O, and then we have a 1, 2, 3 dot L, E, 1, 2, 3 dot R, A, T, E. So there's that there, and there's that there. Um, so tolerate A, one, two lines in the W, so here's world. W, O inside the word circle, R with 1, 2, 3 dots, R with 3 dots, L with 3 dots, 1, 2, 3 dots and D with three dots, one, two, three dots. So lots of dots on world, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dots total. And then we have an O before the F, which even though it looks like this F has one line, it has this arc here, which connects here and here. So line modifiers count where they end on a letter stem, and they can count for m multiple letters and curve and loop. And this would be an example of a looping line modifier and it counts here and here because that's the two spots they end on this same letter. So that makes a total of three lines and makes this an of. And then demons in the negative. Again, we start at the bottom because this is kind of an inner circle and reading order is bottom counterclockwise and it can spiral inwards. This is a deep divot and it has one, two, three dots. And then we have our E little guy there. The M has one, two, three lines the O there, the N here with one line here lining up with this line there, and then last but not least one, two, three lines on that S. So one may tolerate a world of demons is this first bit, and then we have four F, one, two, three lines, O attached to it, and then R. And if I do have something attached to a consonant, I tend to erase the vowel line, like the letter line behind the vowel, so it looks less like a dot, because Vowels are open in the middle, dots are filled in in the middle. So D, uh, so this is an F with one, two, three lines, O, R with one, two, three dots, so four, 
TH on the line of the word circle. Again, I erased the line of the word circle behind the TH, and we can obviously tell this is bigger than that, so this is the TH and that's the E. And then we have this shallow divot here with one, two, three lines, so that's an S. The A outside the word circle, a K has two dots, one, two, one, two, and then the E I put inside the K of O and then F, one, two, three lines. I did these two ofs very similarly. And A outside the word circle, N has one line. And then last but not least, we have the A. And this shape here is the N and G together. We can do NG as just one letter. Uh, and it's not an ing sound. It, it can be the NG and an, L, and an angel sound, um, like ng. Uh, because these combo letters are not phonetic combo letters. They are just another way to write the letters in the same way in a save, in save space or create space if you need to create space. But yeah, so A and then one, two, three lines on the NG, so one, two, three, and then these two lines are the lines of the word circle, so I guess there's a total of five lines ending on it, but two of those are the word circle lines, so two of those are the, uh, so, yeah, two of those are the word circle line, so three of them are the modifier lines, and then we have the E on the line, and then last but not least, one, two, three dots on the L, and then here's a period, it's an open circle in the sentence circle, so yeah. That is that design. I hope you like it, and uh, I hope you find it worth the wait. Thanks. Bye.